Hey guys, this is Michael from Stillwell Pianos and I am standing in front of a 1904 six foot three inch Chickering piano, a grand piano that we've restored recently. And one of the things that we really like about Chickering as technicians is one, they have awesome cabinets and two, Chickering the company themselves were really, really innovative in piano design um, in the early 1800s. Um, so they were formed in 1823 and by the middle of that century they were the ones that came up with a one-piece uh, cast iron plate design, as, which is what all pianos use now. This is all just one big piece of cast iron. And they were the ones that came up with this. Also back then, pianos were what we called straight strung. So these strings are strung like this. And Chickering was the first company in the middle of the 1800s to come up with stacking or overlaying their bass on top of their treble. And this would allow the strings to be longer in a smaller cabinet because you can imagine if these are straight, we would have to have this all the way over here and we'd have almost like a boxed look in the piano and it would have to be longer just to get this long of strings. So I'm going to pull this piano apart and show you what's going on on the inside, but I wanted to show you that first. So let's go pull the action. All right, now that we got the action out of the piano, we can start talking about what we've done to the piano so far. So um, as you can see, we've, uh, we've recovered all the keys. We've refinished all the sharps, and we even put a veneer on the side of the keys. And that's mainly for aesthetic reasons. You know, when the piano's all shut and everything's put back together, you don't see anything back here. So when you're playing, you can press the key down and kind of see this nice young fresh wood as opposed to the older um, original key sticks, which we obviously want to keep. We just wanted to make them look a little nicer. We've also rebushed the, act or the keys themselves on the balance rail and the front rail up front. And then we've rebushed every center pin um, and replaced them in the action them itself. New hammer shanks and flanges. And these hammers are actually uh, mahogany core hammers, which are typically my favorite because they tend to um, provide more of like a rich, powerful bass, especially in the bass. So in the treble, they allow us to sing very sweetly and calmly and really punch when we need to and kind of create that punchy, bright tone. Um, but in general, kind of create this warm, velvety tone that a lot of people look for when they're looking for American pianos. So let me try to throw this action back in, and we can uh, play a little bit for you, and you can hear what this piano sounds like. All right, now that I got the action back in the piano, I'm going to play a little bit for you to kind of show you what this piano sounds like. But please keep in mind, I've never had piano lessons before. I grew up around all this stuff, and I kind of figured it out because this has been my desk. But um, basically what I'm going to try to do is just try to show you how this piano sings. The thing that I really, really like about this piano is the bass. The bass is so rich and so full, even when you play softly, but when you really, really punch it, it has an enormous amount of power. Um, and the high treble is very, very soft and sweet too, so I'm going to do my best to kind of show you that. So you can hear the sustain is still going. This piano has an em enormous amount of sustain and just such a beautiful, pretty tone. So I hope this helps, guys. If you guys have any questions about this piano or any other piano we have on our floor, please feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano-related videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.